The Muscles tool, which is new in version 3.1, allows you to quickly sculpt muscle-like structures into your scene. Now you're not limited to the use of just muscles. You could use it for hair, wings, grass, any kind of object that would look similar to those that I just mentioned. Now you have a number of parameters here, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. First off, there are three different muscle types. Muscle 1, 2, and then the tendon. Let's look at muscle 1 first. We're going to stroke outside of the object here, and I'll create a number of strokes with different brush sizes and intensities. Okay, as you can see the different variations here with the same muscle. This was a small sized brush with low intensity. This was a larger sized brush with the same low intensity. And this is the same larger brush with a higher intensity. You can tell the differences there just by looking at them. Alright, let's go ahead and demonstrate muscle number two now. Let's turn down the brush size and intensity. This one's a little thinner and pointier than muscle number one. And it has a wider base. Same basic principles with these three strokes here. We have low intensity with a small brush. Then we have larger brush with low intensity and then larger brush with a higher intensity. You can see they look somewhat like feathers. Now let's take a look at the tendon. You can see this one is small and stringy. And one more. Let's turn up the intensity on this one. You can see that's a little thicker. Same basic principle. They get thicker and bigger depending on the size of your brush and the depth of your brush. Okay, now let's go ahead and hide those. I've created those on a different layer. I want to demonstrate the stick to ground option. Let's go back to muscle number one. Basically what stick to ground does, it conforms the stroke to the surface of your voxel object. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that here. You can see it's not popping outside of the volume. It's sticking right to the surface. Now if we did the same stroke and left the voxel surface, it will actually detach from the surface there, like so. Let's demonstrate one other option, the smoothing speed. The higher the intensity of this parameter, the more it will smooth out. So let's go ahead and create a stroke with stick to ground turned off outside. And you'll notice that the smoothing is quite high, that the movement of this stroke is smoothing quite a bit. Let's do another stroke with the intensity back at zero, and it will move much less and smooth much less. And there you have it. That's the new muscle tool. I highly recommend checking it out and trying the different parameters. 